is now underway. And we're expecting the Georgia prison officials to come out afterwards to give us an update or a statement, something to that effect. So we want to let listeners know that we'll be providing that as soon as possible. If we can, we'll try to feed the statement from the prison officials live. Do they do this right here? Do they do this? Um, it will be over near the police officers dressed like stormtroopers. That's where the press conference is going to take place from the prison officials where they get their statement. Um, <coughs> uh, I wanted to just read one interesting tweet from Representative John Lewis, who's come up this evening from Georgia. As we stand here in Georgia. came from Atlanta. That's right. And he's tweeted today, we are all Troy Anthony Davis tonight. continues, a uh, little piece of all of us will die. So, uh, I'm going to go over there, Amy, and, and we'll uh, bring listeners and viewers updates, and um, if you'll keep your phone on you, Amy, I'll keep in touch with you that way. So, Maybe uh, we can even record it and play it for everyone who has been with us in this broadcast and continues to want to get information. We're going to go right here. Ben Jealous is now informing the group of, that is gathered around. The family of Troy Davis is here, is on the grounds. And Troy's sister. Martina uh, is in a wheelchair. Angelus is now saying, we have just received word. Interviews. But again, the time of death is 11.08. Four minutes ago. 11.08. The time of, <clears throat> the time of Troy Anthony Davis's death was 11.08. Eastern Time, Georgia Time, here at the Death Row Prison in Jackson, Georgia. Ben Jealous is saying behind me, the president of the NAACP, to the people who have gathered in vigil about how much faith people have shown and how people have to redouble their efforts. He is repeating what Troy Davis said that he rededicates his life to God that they can take his body but they cannot take his spirit right behind me is Troy Davis's sister people have their arms around her People are applauding Ben Jealous right now. And the planes are now, helicopters are hovering overhead. It's very quiet. People are very hushed. Both here, where about 150 people are gathered and have been all day not allowed to go out of the prison grounds if they wanted to return, not allowed to get food, not allowed to replenish supplies, and people outside also very, very quiet. Again, right now, the news is that Troy Anthony Davis died at 11.08 Georgia time. Let's go to the tape my colleague Hani has just recorded. All right, is everybody ready? All right. The court ordered the execution of Troy Anthony Davis has been carried out. The time of death is 11.08 p.m. At this time, the media witnesses will be coming out to give their first-hand account of what
what happened during the execution. The coroner's van will be coming out very shortly. It will be a black van. Media will be able to move up to get video of that van. At this time, we may have some people who are at the actual execution who may come out to do interviews. We will wait for them to come out, and we will be sitting in the same area if they do choose to do interviews. But again, the time of death is 11.08. Again, prison official. Uh sharing the news that Troy Anthony Davis was executed at 11.08. That was the time of death. I'm standing with... Wesley Boyd, and I'd like to say there's been a travesty of justice, and I'd like to tell the America ought to be ashamed of itself, and God help America, and if you're alive with America, please don't come to Georgia. Don't come to Georgia, don't buy any Georgia pecans, don't buy any Georgia peaches, don't buy any trade with Georgia, the whole world. Don't buy anything with Georgia. God bless America, and God bless Troy Davis. We're standing here where people have been holding vigil all, all through the day. Um, we've gotten word that uh, Troy Davis has, pa has passed away. Um, the witnesses uh, who saw the execution take place. Sarah, say your full name and your organization. My name is Sarah Tatanchi, and I'm the director of the Southern Center for Human Rights. Um, just across the yard from me right now, the people who witnessed the execution we have, of Troy Davis. We're going to go right now to the statements um, that are coming in right now. John Booth, WSB Radio, J-O-N, L-E-W-I-S, basically went very quietly. McPhail's family and friends sat in the first row. Warden read the order, asked if Troy Davis had anything to say, and Davis lifted his head up, looked at that first row, and made a statement in which he said he wanted to talk to the McPhail family, and said that despite the situation we were in, he was not the one who did it said that he was not personally responsible for what happened that night, that he did not have a gun. He said to the family that he was sorry for their loss, but also said that he did not take their son, father, brother. He said to them to dig deeper into this case, to find out the truth. He asked his family and his family and friends to keep praying, to keep working, and keep the faith. And then he said to the prison staff, the ones he said who are going to take my life, he said to them, may God have mercy on your souls. And his last words were to them, may God bless your souls. Then he put his head back down. The procedure began, and about 15 minutes later, it was over. starting 